Hey guys, welcome back. This is Sarah. Today I'll be reviewing another food maker. This is called the Cool Baker Chocolate Treats Maker. It's made by Spin Master and is for ages six and up. It looks like from the back of the box that this should be pretty easy to make some delicious chocolate treats. I mean, this girl looks pretty happy and I don't even think she's tasted the chocolate yet. Please note that if you do get this set, that the chocolate is not included, so you'll need to purchase that separately. So here's everything that is included inside of the box. You get the chocolate treats maker itself. It comes disassembled in several pieces, but it's pretty easy to put together. A melting tray with divider. Three chocolate molds. Three tools to help make your chocolate treats. Six gifting bags. Six gift tags. Two chocolate pop sticks. And of course, some easy to follow instructions with pictures for every step. When you guys make your chocolate, you can choose whatever chocolate you like. But for this video, I chose the Wilton candy melts because they're supposedly very easy to melt. All right, well, let's get started. The first step is to put some very hot tap water inside of the melting tray. And if you guys don't have really hot tap water, you could always heat some up in the microwave and then put it in the melting tray that way. I can definitely feel that my melting tray is warmer with the really hot tap water. So I'll just put my chocolate pieces inside of the divided trays. I don't want to overload my melting tray because I'm not quite sure how long it's going to take for my chocolate to melt, but I'm going to wait a few minutes and see what happens. I'll be right back. As you guys can see, I am totally making progress on melting my chocolate. And now I'll just use my spatula to kind of mush them all together so that they'll melt a little faster. My chocolate eventually did melt all the way, but you do have to have a little bit of patience. If you don't have time for your chocolate to melt, you can always put it in the microwave and melt it that way. Here I have one of the molds. This is the lollipop one. Oh, it's so cute. The instructions recommend that you spray your molds with some cooking spray so that the chocolate doesn't stick to the mold. My spray can always sprays just a little bit too much of the cooking spray. So I'll just wipe down my mold really quickly to remove the excess oil. Now this is the really fun part, getting all of the chocolate inside of the mold. Now I'll place one of my chocolate pop sticks carefully inside of the mold. Now that I've filled the mold, I'm just going to close it up. And there's a little lock that should lock in place when you close it up. Now it's ready to be spun in the chocolate maker. The mold easily clicks into the maker on both sides. And now it's going for a spin. Spin, 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 spin. I may have gotten a little carried away with my spinning. All right, now you're gonna pop the mold out and that goes in your freezer for 15 minutes. While I'm waiting for my chocolate to harden, let's bake another one. This time, I'm gonna make the heart, diamond, and present mold. Thank you. 
Let's close it up and get all the excess air bubbles out. Time to take it for a spin. Spin, 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 spin! Now this can go in our freezer too for about 15 minutes. While I was waiting for the second mold to dry, I also made the third one. It's an owl and I'll show you what it looks like in just a minute. The moles are just out of the freezer, and so you just pop this little clasp open. <gasps> wow, this came out great! Even though I had a lot of excess chocolate, the actual lollipop came out near perfect. The other one came out really cute too. I hope these came out just as good. Here's the chocolate heart. Here's the diamond. Here's the gift box. I made this one two different colors of chocolate just to experiment. Here's the owl one. Wow, <laughs> my chocolate painting isn't perfect, but you can definitely see this is really cute. Let's put the giant owl candy into the gift bag. Maybe I'll give this one to a friend. Well, that was super easy. Well guys, I am super happy with this chocolate treats maker. It was very easy to melt the chocolate inside of the melting tray and the chocolate molds worked great. At the time of this video, there hasn't been an accessory pack that's been released, but hopefully they will do that in the near future because I'm definitely gonna wanna pick that up to try those out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this review. If you did, please hit the like button. Thanks guys again. We'll see you in the next video.